Well, hello, folks. Welcome back to a radio show. I'm out here in the Wild West, that is Avon, Massachusetts. In all the brilliant, not so springiness, that is. And I've just been warned that I have 10%. So, hello everybody. I'm going to make this brief because I think my phone might die. Um, so, hello everybody. Welcome back. If you, if you guys can't tell by the look at my uh, shades, I actually have new glasses. These were just purchased um, this morning, actually. I went to King Optical and Braintree. Thanks, thanks to them, I get some really good glasses for really great prices. If you And these are Ray-Bans. My first set of Ray-Bans. They are, and no, they're not, they're not sunglasses, they're transitionals. So yeah, um, hello everybody, and welcome back to another one of these. It is cold as, it is, well, it's not cold, it's just windy. Uh, it's about 46 degrees. Partially cloudy skies, as we can see, the sun is not quite, not quite out, and um, it's not quite up to par and my, and, uh, so yeah, so I, so I got glasses today. I had to go to Dollar Tree to pick up some snacks for, for, uh, for work and, um, and stuff like that. Cause, um, for work and stuff like that. Um, it's, um, I'm also seeing cocaine bear tonight, so. So one of them is for that. So yeah, so I so I just got these this morning. These were these were um, do the math here. Uh, these were four hundred. These were four hundred and sixty dollars, by the way. So. 400, actually 480, uh, 460, uh, 400, uh, 450, about 458 dollars. A lot of money for for a set of glasses. So um, I got off really, really good thanks to my insurance um, from Restaurant Depot. Uh, the, it's good having Blue Cross Blue Shield again to actually circumvent the cost and actually be uh, part of that series. And should be part of um, that series of healthcare. Um, so yeah, guys. So so I actually figured out. So my brother's getting married in uh, August. We might be doing a bachelor party in Chicago <laughs> in June, I think. Um, so June is going to actually going to be a very action-packed month for me because I'm going to um, Chicago. Don't know when. And then. Um, and then I'm going to be going to, um, and then I'm going to be going to, well, it depends, uh, probably going to, um, then going to Watkins Glen on the 20, 24th, 25th, 26th, because I'm coming back on the 26th of Monday, because I'm not, because my dad and I are driving back on race day, back six hours, we'll be, we'll be back home at like 10, 11, 12 at night given given the fact so um so yeah that's pretty interesting and i'm actually gonna have to make a list for what i'm gonna need for a lot of these trips now um so yeah that so yeah that's a thing um yeah it's a thing uh also i am um that's a thing. So yeah, so I had to do that. Um, went to Dollar Tree, uh, got the glasses, got these glasses, got these about 9.30, 9.40 today. Um, I'm very happy with them, actually. You guys can see, you guys can still see my eyes, but these are darker and these are actually, these are not permanent sunglasses. You guys can see, you guys can still see my eyes a little bit. It's, I think it's cause it's partly, partly cloudy. So it's not as effective. Um, but you guys can, but I can't really, um, if I turn my head like this, I actually look like I'm, uh, like I have a real set of Ray-Bans, but, um, 
But yeah, so these are the Bill Hickman um, Nutty Professor. Actually, nah, I can't even say these are Nutty Cla Professor glasses. Um, um, I'm not talking um, Eddie Eddie Murphy Nutty Professor. I'm talking about uh, good old um, good old uh, Jerry Lewis Nutty Professor. No, just oh yeah, you you guys are saying, I can't really imitate uh I can't really imitate um I really can't imitate uh Jerry Lewis oh you guys will have to watch the Night Professor. Night Professor is actually pretty cool the way how he uh is able to transform. But yeah, so I got the so I got the old so I got the big glasses. They look kind of funky when they're not when they're not but when they but when they have the tent on them like this they're actually pretty good um so yeah uh so yeah i'm gonna record so yeah i have to go inside get ready so i have to go inside get ready to do some stuff and then um and get ready for the movie and then i'm gonna record some gran turismo when i get out of the shower and stuff like that so i hope you guys are ready for some more battle of the z type stuff so i will be uh, and I'm going to upload that probably 9, 10 o'clock at night. Um, and then I'm going to go to bed. And then I'm going to work, get up for work tomorrow and work for another week. Um, so, yeah. And last week was actually pretty successful work week-wise because um, we've been working on a lot of stuff and stuff like that. So that's going to be fun. Um, so, yeah. Um, I... Um, I usually don't do this to you guys, but I think I might pick this up later and turn into a time lapse type thing. And I will tell you guys how the movie went and I will, um, before I go to bed and uh, I'll blow that and then you guys will get an episode. So I think it's episode 408, I think. So you guys will see that live tonight. You guys will be able to watch it early tomorrow morning when you guys get up. Um, yeah, March is kind of off to a slow start. Kind of a slow start. Uh, sorry, I just didn't mean to start it out this way. We're six days in, and I only have, what, what three episodes? Yeah, it's kind of slipping slipping by a little bit. But I'm going to make that up for um, for content for um, Grand Turismo and stuff like that in the next couple of days. It's picking up to agree with me. Um, but I'll see you guys uh, later as... Um, what will be a couple of seconds for a couple of seconds for you guys will be a couple hours for me. I'll probably pick this up probably 10, 9 30, 10 o'clock. Um, after I've, uh, done a little grant, after I've done uploaded the Gran Turismo footage. So I'll see you guys then. Peace out. Actually, this is how I look without the, uh, without the shades on. So you guys, the, the earlier video, the wind uh, sweat video was me, um, I think I did about six minutes, so this video is probably going to be another six to seven minutes, so this video is probably going to be another five, probably going to be another six to ten, so, uh, because it is about, um, about 11.35, so it's, so when I upload this, it'll be 12 o'clock when I combine the videos, um, so yeah, I'm back. Um, I have, um, I have, um, returned home because I wanted to give you guys a, um, so I uploaded the Gran Turismo video. Um, I, um, uploaded the Gran Turismo video. Um, I just, um, I actually had to help my dad out with some stuff today um and stuff like that um so i actually ended up doing that um so doing that today um doing that today uh that was probably around three four o'clock and um then i went to go see cocaine bear with my mccaffrey uh that was um That was probably uh, six, seven o'clock. 
Uh, I actually liked it, actually. Um, I, um, I actually liked it, actually. Uh, it was pretty cool. Um, it's actually pretty cool, actually. Um, I, um, uh, we just got into the movie theater in time. My dad actually, um, my dad actually ended up dropping me off at her house after, after I helped him. And I, I was already all good to go. I just had to help him some office work and stuff like that. And then, uh, he drove me to the, to Meg's house. And then, um, we just, uh, got, I just got, and then, then we, uh, got to the movie theater around 620, just got into the movie. And then, um, we just, we actually were able to, it was actually pretty good because previews were like half an hour. So cooking bear was pretty good. I actually thought it was, it was very serious. It was based on loose, it was loosely boost on most events, but it was, um, it was actually pretty, it was funny in some parts. It was kind of heart stopping in others. Um, it was kind of, there was kind of some dumb moments. Um, and, um, the music was, was very good. Uh, it had, it had some interesting moments. Um, it actually had some interesting moments. So, um, I actually had some interesting moments in it and, um, I actually had some interesting moments in it. So, um, I thought it was very fun and it was nice to see a send off for, for Ray Liotta. Ray Liotta actually plays, um, actually he's peddling drugs. It's the same setup he had in Goodfellas all those years ago. Um, score was very good. Um, and, um, the director was kind of, kind of, uh, kind of from Western Mass. So there was kind of, so those, those are the artsy, craftsy type people. And they were, they got a lot of money and this film was definitely on that genre. It was kind of out there. I think it has to do with some of the high altitude air out there in Western Mass, but, um, good Western, good high altitude Western air, but, um, not quite Bobby. Not quite Bobby under. Not quite Bobby. Not quite, well. Not quite Bobby under. Not quite Bobby under. But, um, not quite Bobby. But, um, that sort of thing. Um, that high altitude in Albuquerque. Um, in Albuquerque. So, um, so, uh, so I, I give the movie it's not meant to be serious it's meant to be a very very common it's meant to be a comedy horror so yeah i don't think a cocaine a bear would be able to ingest cocaine the real bear that they actually based the store of actually died of a drug overdose cocaine overdose because the bear allegedly had like 75 kilos 75 pounds or like 34 kilos of um cocaine which was which which led to a drug overdose um um so um, so yeah, I thought the movie was very good. I give it an eight out of, I give it a eight and a half out of 10 cause it wasn't meant to be serious. Um, uh, there was, cause there was kind of some stupid kind of, uh, dumb, dumb thinking moments, typical horror comedy like that horror comedy. Um, the scary movies come to, come, come to, uh, come to mind. Um, kind of in that genre um kind of in that genre it's not quite le uh, the last house the last last house on the left or lo knock at the door knock at the door of the cabin or whatever it was the last movie i saw um but the movies the movie is definitely it's definitely worth the 16 dollars if you want to laugh and if you want to laugh and um it's a bit gory um at parts and it's kind of if you guys watch draws back back when, if you guys watch Jaws, you guys kind of a lot of uh, a lot of ketchup packets and a lot of other stuff and um a lot of people were probably not going to go into the woods after this and uh public service and that's but don't feed it was actually funny because at the end of the movie one of the teens that was actually hitchhiking to new york um actually um put the duffel bag of uh, cocaine in the back of the truck of a bunch of um 
bunch of sheep and he takes the bag out knowing that it might have might that knowing that it might have problems so um so yeah it's, it it was a pretty hilarious movie um I, I think it was good as i said it's not oscar worthy it's not really supposed to be it was it was actually funny kind of a nice funny send off to ray Liotta, uh who died last year um in may um so yeah i um thought it was very good so hope you guys will i hope you guys like this time lapse vlog i certainly like to do more of these and so i pulled gran turismo i'm going to um record um i'm actually going to record some um i might record i don't know i might record some um might try to record some um final fantasy tomorrow maybe i'll pull it thursday thursday or something like that and then i'll do a vlog wednesday um or I might do a vlog tomorrow. I might do a vlog Tuesday, Monday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and I might not do one Thursday. I'll just upload gameplay Thursday. Um, but yeah, keep. I'm gonna keep you guys posted. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys, um, if, you, if you guys want, you guys want a little horror but want some laughs, and a little in between. Cooking Bear is actually pretty good. It's actually, it's serious. It's funny, but it's also got pretty much blood and guts, which. It's not quite a slasher film, but it's close to it. But I hope you guys go out and go see it. Um, if you guys want to save some money, go during the day. Uh, so you guys can see a matinee and save save some dough. But yeah, I will see you guys later. I'll see you guys. I'm actually going to see you guys tomorrow, actually, because I want to kind of get these rolling again. Uh, so I'm going to do today, tomorrow, uh, and Wednesday. Thursday, I'm not going to do Friday, Saturday. Saturday is the gear change show. I haven't figured out a topic yet. Um, I haven't figured out a topic yet. Um, you guys know me. I pop up a certain thing. Um, but yeah, I have to talk to you guys about a certain um, YouTuber that I've just discovered. Um, and he's funny. Had me, his content had me laughing pretty hard, pretty hard the last couple of days. So I'll have to tell you guys about that tomorrow. Um, uh, there's a guy named Codenamed, Codename Super or something like that. Codename Super or something like that. Yeah, it's Dragon Ball related, but it's a lot funnier than you think. Um, it's him commentating fights and stuff like that, but I'll get into that tomorrow. Um, I, I can't say it because I'll just start laughing again. And um, I can't show you clips because I may get copyright from him, but... Um, it's, I'll let you guys in on just how funny and hilarious it is. And I'll give you guys an update of what's going on in life. So, um, so yeah, and I hope you guys like the new look with the glasses. Cause this is what I'm going to look like going forward. I know I look like Bill Hickman from, um, I know I look like Bill Hickman from, um, from, uh, good old, uh, I know I look like Bill Hickman from uh, Bullet, but when these go dark, um, as you guys saw earlier in the film. Um, all right, guys, I'll see you guys later. Peace out, everybody. And long live America. God bless America. Long live our freedoms and our rights. Long live all my friends. I want them all stay strong and um, keep watch over them. Um, they're all doing good, and my friends, my family, and, um, and for those who've passed, I'll see you guys later. And I will see you guys tomorrow for another one of these. I'm going to pinch myself to make another one tomorrow. All right, guys. Bye.